worst fabrics to choose for your couch or sofa. Before you guys start arguing with your furniture salesperson, I want to give you a little more context to what he is saying. So I own Design Broker and it's a luxury designer furniture shopping service. And I literally sell thousands of sofas every year and work extremely closely with all the designer retailers and wholesale manufacturers. And so in terms of microfiber, it's actually a fabric I would recommend. It's normally budget friendly. It's extremely um, pet friendly and human friendly because you can wash it. Um, I understand what he's saying about it kind of looks dirty or dated. But I think that's just because we've upgraded from a microfiber to like an everyday suede. And so um, it's just a little bit uh, difference in the fabric. And I'll show you. So, for example, Pottery Barn. And he mentioned in his, th um, his video about everyday suede and using a high performance because normal suede you cannot use. And so what Pottery Barn has done is they have updated to their everyday performance, um, everyday suede performance fabric. And this is a sofa I literally sell every single day. It's a phenomenal pet friendly, human friendly fabric. They also have their performance plush velvet. Well, guess what? Both of these fabrics, while they may look a little different in the tightness of their weave, they're 100% polyester. So if you remember nothing from this video, I want you to remember that you're looking for polyester in terms of if you're searching for a durable high performance fabric, because polyester is the easiest to clean and care for. So velvet, everyday suede, phenomenal choice. Um, West Elm, my video went vi viral for the most cat friendly and it's their velvet again it's just a hundred percent polyester um the tweed I actually disagree with this a little bit because tweed because of the mixture of textures can hide a lot of stains and be very durable if you don't have cats so do not shy away from a high performance tweed or basket weave because it actually gives you so much more texture especially if you're under neutrals it's a great way to mix in um, if all your seating is a neutral and um, the fabric that he didn't mention that I want to call everyone's attention is linen so think of linen just like a pair of pants after you sit or walk in it it stretches and it sags well so will your sofa if you like linen linen, West Elm, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, they have a linen, but guess what? It's not linen. It has like 10% or less of linen in the actual fabric. And so that's something else that you need to trust with these high-end designer retails. They know that you're going to leave a terrible review or not come back and do business with them if your sofa doesn't hold up. So while everyone wants to follow the trends, um, these retailers have to give you something that's actually going to last. And so the trendy, more designer fabrics are something someone can purchase with a disposable income. And they repurpose those, but with polyester and nylon so that they actually last for you guys. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, drop them below.